Hey Relatables, I'm here in one of my indoor grow rooms and here you have Mammy Nara. He's always trying to get mama's attention, aren't you? He's so cute. Anyways, uh, here in the back I have a squash that I brought inside. Or I'm sorry, that I started from one of the fruits, seeds that I had this summer. And um, so I've got it inside growing. I guess the light um, is really close to it, so you can't really see real well. But uh, So what we're going to do today is there's a little flower right here, and we're going to take the pollen from it, and I'll get a little closer zoom as well. Um, but all of these are male um, pods right here. The males come in first, and then the females will come in. Um, Anyway, so we'll get started on that, and Mare's gonna be here with us through it. Aren't you, Mare? Yeah, he's such a good boy. Um, so we'll get started. Okay, so I have moved the plant closer to us, and Mare is still here with us. Isn't it cute? He's a big boy. So I have this that I started from seed. It is my spaghetti squash plant, and right down in the man right down in that little flower is the pollen that i would like to collect right down there and um, so and that's because the male flowers bloom well before the female flowers do and if you see some of this white stuff it's because i've sprayed milk on it uh, because these kind of plants are susceptible to marinaries they are susceptible to like a powdery mildew, which is, I think, what this is. And uh, so I can remove the leaf, um, but it's, it's not a whole lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep spraying it with milk, and it'll be just fine. Milk and the ultraviolet rays produce an antifungal for the plants. And so that's what I'm going to do is uh, take that pollen and wait. This long coming straight off the stem right here is a male flower. Yeah, and Mary's so mad that he's not center of attention. Yeah. Be careful now, baby, hell. This is also a male, male, male. So see all these males will flower out first. And then what will happen when the females flower out? Oops. So here's a female, it's very short. There's a female, it's very short. Another female flower, but the males won't be around. So we'll have to go ahead and pollinate them ourselves. So, yeah. It's a really cool bisexual plant, huh? <laughs> or is that bisexual? Is that what you call something that is both sex? I don't know, I'd have to do a little more research. Eat that plant. Eat that plant. Aren't you so cute? That's a good thumbnail. <laughs> okay, so I'll get to it and I'll show you. I'll have to set you up on the tripod and try to get rid of Mary so I can sh show myself clipping that and delivering it into a glass container so that it can be used for pollination later when the females come along. Okay, so here we are. I did have to remove one of the bamboo supports but this is going to go pretty quickly once i get in there and that right man it's going to go real quick all right so i've already collected on one and here's the jar and as you see it's got one of those little pollen beads in it so i'm going to keep this open but not too much i've got a lot of fan flowing around Let me turn them off. and then i'll just get in here and clip this these flowers close as the day goes on so i really should have done this sooner but just clip come on uh normally i can grab it well this is fail it stayed all up in the flower but that's okay this one wasn't as great of a job as i did the last time, but that's okay. 
So now I'll just dump it on in there and seal it up. So now I have two male pollen pods that I have collected and then I will use when the females finally come out. So this is how to collect pollen from your spaghetti squash. And hopefully you'll get to see these spaghetti squashes grow and uh, and then I can show you how to cook them. So that'd be cool. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video.